Everybody, it is your least favorite Animal Jam YouTuber here, Pygirlsy, back at it again with another video. And today, I wanted to kind of talk to you guys about what this new animal could be. And since it's Thursday, this is going to be a very big update, so I'll just kind of show you what I'm even talking about. So of course, we have the pandemonium, just all the panda items, the panda animal is back, and these really adorable panda pets. But when I was just looking through, thought these were really cute, and then I was just normally kind of sliding along, reading them, and then I come across this. And so this is a curious photo. We just received this photo from a jammer who was in Crystal Sands when she saw an animal that has never been seen in Jama. Though the photo is a bit blurry and grainy, if you look closely, it definitely looks like there might be a new animal in Jama. Could the alphas have brought back a heartstone in secret? What kind of new animal could it belong to? And so, when you first look at this photo, like I did, you would see, oh, gecko, super easy, anyone could have figured that out. But then, as I thought more about it, why would Animal Jam just blatantly show you the animal? Why would they just tell you what it is without having you put in any effort to even figure it out? And I think there's some logic behind this. Because Animal Jam will always have you, whether how easy the clue is or not, they will always have you figure out some little part of what the new animal is. And especially since we've had no further notice, you'd think that they wouldn't just want to openly tell you what it is, you know? So then, if you actually read more into the text, it says, though the photo is a bit blurry and grainy, but if you look closely, you don't have to look very closely at that. It's very clear, nothing grainy about it, and nothing blurry. But what is blurry and grainy? This patch of grass and these what could be legs of the new animal. Because this is definitely not grass of any type. There's no purple grass and I can't think of anything that would stem out of the grass in such a weird manner. So I think we can safely cross out this. Why? Because this is just a diversion. This is what's trying to make you think that it's a gecko. So, now the next thing that you need to notice is that it says Crystal Sands. And Crystal Sands, if we actually go over there, has these exact two water slides right in this position. So if we go back, we can see two water slides and then the rocks there and that would be where the gecko is. Now, let's take a look at this perspective. If you look at the perspective of this, these are in the very forefront of the photo. So these are going to be right at the edge of Crystal Sands, and this is going to be towards the back. If that makes any sense, you need to look in Crystal Sands for where this would be, and it's going to be way farther away from these slides. Because this animal isn't bigger than the slides, the animal is closer to the photo than the slides are. So then, that's what I did, and if you actually go to where this photo would have been taken, there's a flamingo sitting right here, and those legs look pretty convincing to those of this photo. See how this couldn't be a plant from the grass, but instead animal's legs? And I can't think of any other animal that would have such skinny, long legs that can be arranged in such a position, you know? So, I'm going to compare these photos right next to each other so you can see what I'm talking about. So what I've noticed is it kind of looks like a 4, and once again, we're gonna go back, that does look like a 4. And so if we look at the legs, and once again, look at these legs right here, I think they look pretty alike, and these grass patches happen to be right here. This is the grass that's in those photos. But everything doesn't completely match up yet. What if it's just coincidence and this just supposed to be blurry? What if Animal Jam just really wanted to show you the animal was a gecko? Well, here's what I think. If you look at the Jama Journal page, it actually says, she saw an animal that has never been seen in Jama. And if you go to the diamond shop over here, you can see a gecko for yourself as a pet right here. And these geckos have been seen in Jama. In fact, there's even an entire song about geckos over here. A lot of things in this game are oriented around this gecko. It's kind of like a little mascot for the game. There's so many things about geckos, and you can see them pretty much everywhere. So, the gecko can't be anything that no one has ever seen before because we can see them everywhere. We can have them as pets. So, it wouldn't really make sense that it'd be a new animal because 
we've had these before, we've seen them. This is nothing special, nothing to be really excited over. But what we haven't seen is a flamingo, or a type of animal like a flamingo, which is what I think this animal right here is. Because if you think about it, this is just one animal in the game, can't interact with it, it does the same exact motions in a loop all day. And there's plenty of other animals that do this in the game, like in Serapia Forest, the skunks walk across, and the bird flies down and sits right over there. We've got the mountain goats that sit all the way up here. Pretty much all of the animals that you can find in the journey book all pretty much do the same thing as these flamingos. So, we've technically seen them, but not exactly because we can't interact with them, and seeing a gecko that we can interact with the game is technically seeing this gecko. But there's no flamingo that'll interact in the game with you, so we haven't really seen a flamingo. And so that's what I think Animal Jam is trying to do. They're trying to divert our attention to right here by blurring out these objects. But if you do really think about it and read the text like they wanted you to, you'll come to the conclusion that I did that the animal is actually right here. And honestly, I think everything does check out. The grass in the photo, the blurred legs that kind of look like the number four, the perspective how these are way bigger than the slides because if you took it from this exact angle, you'd get the slides really small and the gecko really small in the photo, and that's exactly what happened. We can verify that these slides here are the exact same ones in the photo. The photo confirms it's crystal sands, and geckos are obviously all around the game. So I think all of these things pretty much check out my little theory on this, but this is honestly just what I think. It could also be the gecko, I, I really have no idea. But that's just kind of my standpoint on it. But honestly, just the fact that this says new animal, that really just kind of sells it for me that it's not a gecko. But you know, that's, that's just me. But before I kind of wrap this video up, I would like to bring another point to the table. So it's actually very possible that there is another type of bird that could be the new animal, not just a flamingo. And I'll show you what I mean. So first thing you want to do is just go to this game tab and if you scroll all the way down and you look at Double Up. So this game is fairly old if you look at the graphics. I don't exactly know when this game came out, but if you just look at it, you know it's kind of an old game. And so once I show you the animals, you're probably going to want to pause the video. So I'll tell you exactly when to pause and just take a good look at every single animal and I'll show you what I mean after. So we hit play and look at every single animal right here. Okay, so you're probably thinking, okay, you know, this has nothing to do with the new animal. But actually, I think it does. Notice how we have every single animal except for this heron type bird. And we got the toucan not too long ago. So what I think is Animal Jam is going to put in a new heron type bird. A heron or a flamingo in my opinion because their leg types are basically the same and they have the same stance. So that's what I think. And since Animal Jam has pretty much implemented every new animal that has been in this game, I think they're going to add maybe this type of bird as well. And I mean, if you do acknowledge that these animals exist and you put them in the game, I'm sure at one point you'd probably want to add this to the game. I mean, we even got the toucans over here, which no one really thought we were ever going to get. So this isn't like a telltale sign, but I do think it's very likely that we could maybe be getting this animal instead of a flamingo. And actually, if we walk up here in Jama Township, you can see that this heron, which is the same bird that Mira slash Myra is, is in the same exact stance. And so if we take one final look at this Jama journal, the legs are in the same exact stance. So it's completely possible that we could be getting either a heron or a flamingo but I'm not really sure. If you do have any other speculations or ideas on what this animal could be, make sure to leave them in the comment section down below. Make sure to leave a like, hit that subscribe button, and if you are not subscribed already, we are getting so close to 30k. As of right now, we are like 200 subscribers away, so I'd really appreciate it if you could hit that button down below. That is pretty much it. Bye guys. Oh yeah, and here's my outro because I forgot it for the last like five videos. Oops.